Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing yet another beef jerky review. Um, if you haven't been following the channel, my good friend Brian from Scotland has sent me a little care package of jerky specifically to review. Um, he was saying these are some of his favourite flavours and so far all of them. Like I've tried the traditional or the original. I've tried the chilli and the garlic and even like they were good. You know, they were like... I certainly enjoy them too um and yeah so today is the peri peri flavor um so as you can see this one is by Ricard uh Ricard's Cornish Biltong peri peri flavor obviously um the front is the same as all the others you know like it says family butchers since 1960 35 gram bag um you know all the average stuff the back says exactly the same stuff. I'm going to read it again, but like, <laughs> it says the same stuff. Uh, Cornish biltong is simply delicious cured steak. Our premium handcrafted biltong is made using the rump of silver side beef. Various spices and vinegars then air dried for up to five days. This low and slow drying gives our beef amazing flavour and texture. We hope you enjoy eating it as much as we do making it. Um... This one, just like all the others, goes out of date on the 15th of July, 2023. Uh, 35 gram bag. Um, store in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight. Uh, once open, consume within 72 hours. That's two days. Um, the oxygen absorber in the packet is not for consumption. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Now, Peri Peri, at least in my experience with it, because I'm more into chili than peri peri right but in my experience peri peri has the flavor of chili but without the intense heat you know it's like when you have like peri peri like fries you're not supposed to get a big kick in the throat from it you know but it's supposed to have that chili taste actually you know so uh, we'll see usually I mean, not usually, I mean, I don't know. Like, today I'm going to rip it open. Last time I used a sword. Which... <laughs> Let's get into this, guys. Opened fairly all right. Okay. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so to me, this has more of a chili, and a chili. So for me, this has more of a curry type thing going on, like Thai curry or possibly even Indian curry. It, if I had to put like a percentage, I would say it's about 50% just beef. Like the smell is like 50% beef. And then the other 50% is like this peri-peri curry thing that's going on, right? So let me just get my phone so I can use it as a torch. Whenever I do this torch chat, uh, torch test, oh my gosh, torch test, it never has anything to do with the quality of the beef because they've all been about the same. It's more to do with the thickness to show you guys like, hey, this is about how thick it is. All right, so that's the first piece. All right, first of all, hang on, let me just put my bag over here. It's got a nice bit of, has a nice bit of seasoning on it. Okay, let me just let me get my phone, put the torch up there. All right. So this one is certainly more thicker than the others. At least this piece. Um, usually the pieces are pretty consistent in each bag, so they're all going to be around this size-ish. Um, of course, there'll be some that's like a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker, you know, but that's, you know. And yeah, the smell is just like, at first it smells like a, a good quality beef, but then after that, it just goes into like a, this curry thing. In terms of how moist it is and how flexible it is, it's pretty, you know what I mean? It's pretty... Hmm. All right, but let's get into it. Cheers, guys. Mm. 
because this one is a bit thicker, like the actual thickness, it hasn't been fully dried out. So the moistness is good. Like this feels closer to if I was just having like a fried steak, you know what I mean? You see now this one is physically a smaller piece, but it's the same thickness. That's actually a better background because it's white against black, so or black against white, so like I was saying, the moistness on this right now is amazing. This piece is a bit more on the chewy side than the other pieces I've had in the past, but I don't mind because it tastes good, so. Alright guys, I think I'm going to have one more piece, then I'm going to give my um, like opinions on it, you know. I'm trying not to speak too much on them right now, just because this was about the same piece as last time. Let's go for a thinner piece. Those two, those last two have been thinner piece. I mean, it starts off thin at this end, but then the more you get down to this end, it kind of gets wider. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. So I know the thick pieces, like this side, is like really juicy and, you know, quite nice. But now I'm going to try this side. Oh, whoa. That kind of surprised me because the thin side is as juicy as the thick side. Like, in terms of the moistness, they feel about the same. That's kind of nuts. Okay, so what I think of it, well first of all, it's nice and moist, you know, as I was saying multiple times through the video, um, in terms of the beef quality, it, the quality of the beef was good, um, the, like how good they jerkied it, is, you know, they had a really good jerky on that one, um, I loved how it was still kind of, um, like, moist in the middle you know it, it didn't dry my mouth out it didn't you know what i mean um as you can see there it was very bendy you know it's very sort of um like it wasn't like that's what i mean by dry like it wasn't like you can't just snap it you know or not snap it but you, you know have you ever like bent jerky and just kind of falls apart it, it it's not like that um like some of the jack links jerky i think the sweet and the hot and sweet or sweet and hot um, that one, when you bent it, it just kind of fell apart, you know. 
Um, and I'm not saying that was bad, but um, it had no bend to it, you know, especially if you bent it with the grain of the beef, like with the like meat. Um, it just so easy or just it still tasted great, but you know. So yeah, this one is certainly consistent as are all the others. It's a little bit more moist than the others. Now, in terms of taste, here's the thing. When I smelt it, I said it smelled more like curry than peri peri. And it did taste like that as well. To me, like there was obviously the beef taste because it's beef jerky. But with the beef, there was like this uh, curry type taste, like an Indian curry, you know. Um, but one thing they did do right was, do you remember at the beginning I said that peri peri mostly is the flavour of chilli, but without as much heat? That's what this was. Um, now, of course, it tasted like curry, but there was no actual heat. Like now, my mouth isn't, like my throat and mouth isn't tingling, isn't stinging. There's no sort of like, even like afterwards when I'm like starting to not burp, but you know, like it's kind of, I, I mean, I guess it's kind of burping, but like, you know, after you eat, you sometimes get like the air that comes up in your mouth, you know, even with that, like there is no s spicy sensation, you know, um, so everything to me is good apart from the taste. It doesn't taste like perry to me. It tastes like curry. Which, um, I mean, like I said before, I prefer chilli to curry, like chilli, yeah, I prefer chilli to peri-peri. So, I don't know, maybe I just need more experience with peri-peri. Maybe peri-peri does actually taste like curry. I, You know, so far, I've only had a peri-peri chicken sandwich from like a place that I go to. And also peri-peri fries, or chips, as we call them here in the UK. Um, so I think maybe I just generally need more experience with peri-peri, but to me, it tasted like curry, as referred to chilli. So, in general, I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, curry, here's the thing, like, if it, if they advertise that as curry, I would say, yeah, it's, a, it's not as spicy as curry, but it's curry. Um, but since it is peri-peri, even though I enjoyed it, like, as a peri-peri product... Maybe, I don't know. I think most people would enjoy it because it, because the thing is, because it wasn't spicy, even though it tasted a little bit more like curry than anything else, I think more people would enjoy it because of that. You know, like, yeah, yes, it tastes like curry, but it's not spicy type thing, you know? Um, unless you're like super sensitive, you know? I, um, but yeah, so just like every video, I think every video, I'm gonna have one more piece that I'm gonna end the video. Oh, this is a really thin piece. Thank you guys for sticking around with me. Yeah, it's... Yeah. All right, but here's the thing. I enjoyed it, though. So, like, I do recommend it, but it's just, like, I personally tasted curry more than peri-peri. That's just me, you know. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, my next video of the beef jerky reviews is going to be the last flavor that was sent to me by Brian. Um, and I don't know what to expect from it. Look out for that video. I'm, I'm interested to see what I think of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.